Well, here's another RV how to video. That's how I'll start over here. This is the first thing I did. These valves are junk right here. The little plastic valves, like all these. That's that. I'm on the bag of junk here. One like this, it's plastic on the inside. It's got a little spring to hold it taut, and it's got a rubber insert. Don't trust them. I don't. So, I went from this to this and just put a brass valve in here. Panel valve is what they called it. Nice and neat. Made me a little panel. Cut this out. Let's go around to the back. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you probably can. What happened was it filled my tank and it filled it till full. Filled it up the hose. The hose had a little hole in it, or it filled the hose till it started leaking and running in because the cap wouldn't let it run out the front. So it ran in on the floor, and now I have some weak spots. Another problem I've had this wonderful winter is, well, of course my pump went out, but it's about six years old. So, now it's about seven years old. But anyway, I got one of the new four-chamber uh, I forget what it is, blah, blah. It says it's quiet. It's a little quieter, but not much. Now, these hoses are part of the problem because they put hoses throughout. They put a hose here. The other one had a hose. They had like three or four hoses coming out of this, which I got rid of this one and just ran it direct with PEX and used a new valve because the little plastic valves they got are funky. they got some kind of triangle thread crap on them. You can see where that's kind of corroded. Well, this is a factory hose too. And usually they say, well, all you got to do is replace the rubbers and you'll be good to go, which is full. I tried that and it leaked. I made pecs and it leaked. Well, it didn't leak. The pump went bad. The pump had a leak in it. I guess it froze. But anyway, bottom line is, if you're going to make hoses, use packs. You can buy this. I got this at Lowe's. I think it was about 11 bucks for a whole roll. I've done two hoses. I can make a whole bunch more. You can buy the PEX fittings. I got this at Lowe's. It was like $4 and something. This one was under 3 Well, I didn't buy this one at Lowe's. I bought it at a mom and pop up in Boaz. Well, it ain't really mom and pop. It's got a name, but I ain't going to name it. If you live in Boaz, you know where I'm talking about. $12 for this fitting. And I can get it for $2.95 at Lowe's just down the road. Live and learn, folks. Live and learn. But anyway, I got all my fittings and junk and stuff because you always got to do something with them once they get a little bit old. But you can see all this stuff. But having water leaks is part of an RV. If you can notice, the PEX goes right on, replaces these hose, and when you use the alligator clamps, you can tighten them. And if they slip, guess what? You can tighten them even more. You can't do it on one of these once it's crept, because once that plastic slips inside the hose, it's going to leak. So if you have any problems and you want to know how to do it or make a hose, get you some of this reinforced hose you can look at it and see the fiber in it it's good for 200 psi and that concludes it pray i don't have another leak i hope i don't i'm tired of it and y'all have a good day